Hey golf people, I'm standing in the rough. And the reason I am is because it's the only time all day I've had a chance to get into the shade because I have just hit fairway after fairway with the driver that I'm gonna show you today. And on top of that, we have a chance to break the long drive record. Oh my God. Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna it's do it? It's gonna be an exciting day, I can promise you that. Let's get into it. All right guys, well here it is. This is the Ping G430. If you're a fan of the channel and you've been following along, you saw me test this indoors. I love the distance I was getting out of it, the forgiveness, as well as the dispersion being very tight. But here we are out on course where we're gonna really put this thing to the test. I'm gonna look at not only distance and forgiveness, but also workability out here and see just what the Ping G430 can do. Gosh, that's towering height. Wow. <laughs> Clubhead speed, 97. Ball speed, 146. Smash, as good as it gets, 1.5. Estimated carry, 233. Estimated carry and roll, 259. Let's find it. Ball speed seems to be there. Smash factor seems to be there. All the elements are lining up nicely here with this club. Now, this is a great day for a test because the wind is really flat today. There's not any wind behind us or in front of us. At this stage, anyways, it could always change, but right now it's nice and flat. It is a little dewy because this is early morning out here, so we're not gonna quite get the roll numbers that we would have gotten with some of our afternoon tests, but still should be very telling in terms of how this club is performing. Let's find out where this ball is. Well, guys, distance-wise, this is really good. I almost made it to the end of the fairway because this fairway turns left. 256 is the distance there, and we're staring right down at it. All right, on this one, I wanna test the workability left, right here. We're gonna try to fade this ball with the ping. Usually a forgiving club, a little harder to work. Let's see what we do. Well, we definitely got a little fade out of it. Down the left side there. Well, it definitely wasn't extreme, but we got something. Club head speed 94, ball speed 137, smash 144, estimated carry 210, estimated carry and roll 233. It's always gonna be a weaker shot with a fade. Let's find it. Okay, guys, here we are just <laughs> two thirds of a yard off the fairway at 237. This is a dog leg right though, so we're actually in real good shape there. Okay guys, on this one, I'm looking for a big high draw. I'm gonna try to cut this corner. We're getting the height onto this club. I know it's possible. Let's see if we can get the distance with it. I'm gonna carry it about 230 to get over the trees. Ooh, that's good. Club head speed 97, ball speed 145, smash 1.49, estimated carry 231, estimated carry and roll 257. Now the sound is absolutely improved with this ping driver. It used to sound kind of plasticky and hollow. Now there's definitely a little bit more of a thud, although it still has a pingy, a pingy pun intended sound to it. So it's got this little high pitched pierce to it when you really strike it well. It's definitely not the best sound I've ever had but it's certainly far improved from the G425. Now, I think that shot kind of highlighted forgiveness because I really took that club inside and yet I got a nice little baby draw, but not the huge sweeping hook I was actually looking to play there. So that highlights the forgiveness of this club. And that often happens when you got a really forgiving high MOI driver, you're going to miss out on a little bit of that shot shaping, but I think I would take forgiveness over shot shape 95 times out of 100, if I'm being honest. So let's find out where this thing finished. Smash factor consistently high with this club. Distance here again, really nice. Two, five, six. I feel like we've seen that number. This driver is the epitome of consistency. <laughs> That's a bomb. Oh my gosh, that's high in the air. That's club head speed 98. 
Ball speed 148, smash says 1.51, estimated carry 238, estimated carry and roll 265, let's go find it. I'm still in awe of the trajectory I got on that shot too. I'd love to see the launch angle, but it had to be way up there. All right guys, we're walking up on this one here. We are dead middle of the fairway and we are at 268. That's what we're left with, probably about 85 to 90 yards. Guys, that's great distance, but with some of these clubs, I've actually hit my club speed up around 100, even 104 I topped out with the Stealth. So on this next hole, I'm gonna really take a whack at this thing and see what it can do. Oh boy, that's so good. That is so good. That's right down Broadway. Club head speed 99, ball speed 148, smash 1.49. Estimated carry 238, estimated carry and roll 264. It's gonna be longer. I'm gonna hit one more here. That's as good as I can hit this driver, guys. The launch, beautiful and high. Big bounce forward. Club head speed 99, ball speed 148, smash 1.49. Estimated carry 238, estimated carry and roll 265. They're both gonna be out there a very long way. Let's find out. Now, if you haven't noticed, guys, the smash factor on this driver is way up there. Even on hits that are not perfect, we're still getting really good smash. Anywhere from 1.48 to 1.5 is where it seems to live. And that's as good as you can get for a mere mortal, in my opinion. I really do think we found another driver here that's the perfect mix of forgiveness and distance. The trajectory on that second shot, oh, it couldn't be any better. It just could not be any better. The shaft combo that we're using here seems to be working really well. This is the Tor 2.0, I think it's 60 or 65 stiff. It's a stock offering from Ping. And it's fabulous. It's working very well right now. Well, guys, I just turned on the device and look what I'm seeing here. By the way, this is the first ball. Up there is the second ball. I'm actually scared that we're going to break the record here, guys. 281. No, 282. It just updated. Wow. But we're taking a long walk up here, guys. A very, very ridiculously... Oh my God. Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna do it? Oh, 299, guys. Oh, we're still, it's still morning here, guys. There's dew on the ground. It is by no means fast and firm. There's a little tailwind, but it's not as much as when we tried the stealth. Look at where we're at. Look at this, guys. I've got a flip wedge into this. Guys, we just beat this year's distance record with a club that if you would have asked me, could it possibly, possibly, in any way, go as far as some of the other brands? I never would have guessed. Absolutely the longest drive I've hit all year. And I think it's the longest drive I've ever hit on this show. Wow, I am, I am speechless, guys. Only thing I can do here is check out this video. It's another video on the G430 indoor tests. The dispersion on this thing, incredible. This thing could 100% be the driver of the year. We're gonna find out. I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.